What's up guys? Today I'm out here with this expired plate. Expired. Um, it's a ceramic plate that was manufactured in 2006. I don't know how well it's coming across on camera. But it was manufactured in 2006. And these things are supposedly have a shelf life of I believe 10 years. I've had a lot of people tell me as long as you don't see any bubbling, uh, any cracks, any deformation on the ceramics, they will still work as intended. But we're going to test that out today. Now this one is rated for 762 and I actually have a 762 out here that we're going to test this thing out with, the 762 by 51. We're just going to shoot the hell out of it. There's nothing really scientific about it. I'm just curious how well this thing is going to hold up. Now the good thing about these plates is since they're not steel, you don't have to worry about um, spalding. You don't have to worry about the jacket coming off and hitting my camera. So I'm going to have the camera reasonably close to this thing when I'm shooting at it. But I'm just going to prop it up here. This is not scientific. This is, I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to work, but we're just going to see what happens. So anyways, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer and then we're going to step back. So a little update, I decided to go a different route with this. We got a big log behind it and a target strapped behind this plate so we can see if anything goes through. Then uh, some ace bandage wrap that I had in my truck that uh, we have wrapped around this plate so it won't move. So I'm hoping we could get some multiple shots without this thing moving. So we got the uh, 308 all sided in. Let's go see what happens. actually kind of cool how it started caving back like that you can see little chunks of the, the wood got split so interesting enough I'm gonna show you the log before I put this back on but you can tell it's all really bulged right here here's my shots I aimed low and it went in deep like that far this one went did go in as deep start seeing some of the materials. The top is bulged, but nothing went through. The bottom is a lot worse, honestly. You can see how it's split. But it doesn't look like nothing has gone through. There's no pierce marks anywhere on here. But yeah, so it did stop four rounds, two here, two here. Now it's dark, I don't know how well this is coming across, but here's the target that was behind it that got all ripped and chunks of the log came off. Kind of splintered it a little bit. So if you were wearing this, you would definitely <laughs> feel that <laughs> hitting you. All right, so there's a 308. This is what we've been shooting, 762 by 51. I'm going reverse, and we're gonna try a 5.56. Five, it's a smaller round. I wanna see, uh, going backwards, if it'll still stop AR round. Oh, it knocked over the log. Yeah, it looks like we might have hit it. That's more deformed than it, yeah, that's a lot more deformed than it used to be. You can actually see the layers on that. So I say we hit it. Yeah, because there was a bulge here and a bulge here. Now it's just one giant bulge. How many times can I say bulge in once? <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing that's come through. But you can see the layers.
that it has. And I believe, isn't this Kevlar? I think so. I definitely uh, don't know a lot about this. I thought it was like Kevlar with ceramic. But you can hear it crunching in there. And I'm pretty sure that is one of my 556 five, because I aimed really yeah. low. I and, aimed over here, so it's probably there and there. Yeah. And I think uh, that looks different than it used to, but I will say, nothing went through. I mean, granted, as much as that's bulged, whoever was wearing it would feel it. Yeah, you'd be hurting. Can you see me on uh, camera? Yeah, I see the plate, not you. I mean, yeah. But honestly, this thing is holding up pretty well. We're kind of going reverse with it because I think if I shoot this too many more times with the 308, it's just going to fail at this point. I mean, if I shake it like this, a whole bunch falls out of it. So um, my, my question is, oh, look, hold on. There's part of a jacket. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cool. But my question is, is if you were in a firefight with this plate, you got shot four times with a 308, four times with a 556, and you ran away, and you come up against a guy with a nine millimeter, would this still stop it? Well, wish this thing good luck, because we're gonna shoot it now. All right, well, I think I hit it. So there's not much left of it, but there is nothing coming out this side. But there's big chunks falling out of it. You can actually see how it looks on the inside, but there's not much left of it. But even though there's chunks falling out of it, nothing has gone through. So you know what that means. We gotta shoot it some more. One thing I will say is that Ace bandage holds it up really well, like, wow. But we're gonna shoot it 10 more times. See what's left of it. All right, good luck. <laughs> okay. Well, it died. Well, let's see if it'll stay there for a little bit longer. But I would say that this is losing its bulletproof properties. Yep, it's, I'm gonna call it done. So, it is now no longer one piece. <laughs> All right, let's take it back to the table. So you can kind of see the layers here. It's still not getting through that Kevlar. It's starting to, but nothing has completely gone through. But as you can see, it's deforming it. First layer is done. And this is the ceramics. Actually, Don, if you can help me out, because I don't know if any of this was on. Just. Yeah, it's on. So this is the first layer, which is pretty much done and gone. But there's the ceramics. And then this would be the Kevlar. Now, as you can see, it got pretty far down, but it's still not coming out the back end. There's a significant bulge, but nothing has pierced completely through. It was getting pretty close, honestly. So 20 rounds of nine millimeter, four rounds of 5.56, and four rounds of 308. It's falling apart, but Honestly, if you're wearing this and you're shot that many times, you're in a terrible situation and chances are you're getting hit other places anyway, so you're probably dead. This plate held up. So for an expired plate, I'm impressed. 
I would say that this is uh, something I would trust. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, I got a lot of content coming up, but maybe a little bit more of me shooting random shit, I don't know. So stay tuned.